My kids love him. My family all loves this dog. And to see this happen is just horrible. A pet owner's worst nightmare. Your beloved companion shot numerous times, but it's who allegedly did the shooting and the circumstances surrounding it that have people talking. TV5 Sherry Hartman live and local with this story tonight. Sherry, what does the owner say happened? Jonathan, police don't have to look far to find the person responsible. The family says the person who shot and killed their beloved pet was a police officer. I heard a pop, 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 pop. And I was like, what is going on? So I stood up and looked out this window right here on my house. And I see the St. Louis Police Department standing over my dog. That's all bloodied, laying right here. Brian Getzinger is describing the shocking scene he saw in his backyard around 3 this afternoon. His beloved Golden Retriever Scout had been shot. The cop came out, opened up my gate. The dog came out. He cornered him right over here. And the dog growled at him. So he shot him or he shot once and then the dog ran over here and that's where he emptied his firearm out right here in my lawn. Lori Wansley was visiting her mother who lives across the street from the family. She says the dog was in her mother's yard for just a few minutes before it headed back home and ran into the officer. It wasn't provoked, it wasn't warranted. He just started shooting him. He just kept shooting him in the head. I saw it like six or eight times and I just, I just couldn't believe it. And I said, what are you doing? I said, he's just a puppy. I just couldn't believe that, let alone the police were in my yard shooting anything, let alone my dog, who is sweet. He's been our family pet for at least eight years. We've had him since he was a puppy. My daughter sleeps with him periodically, and he's just the nicest dog. He's never attacked anyone ever. So I just couldn't understand why someone would shoot him. Still alive, the dog was rushed to the vet, but later died. Getzinger says the family is devastated. They're they're sad, you know. It's our, been our family pet for a long time, so. We put in a call to the St. Louis Police Department. We have not heard back from them. The family says that they will file a complaint in the morning and are considering legal action. Reporting live in St. Louis, Sherry Hartman, WNEM TV5. All right, thank you, Sherry. We'll be working tomorrow to get some sort of statement on the incident from St. Louis Police.